seven this morning uh, and we're out again it's comp time so uh, we are out and we are fishing uh, at the field um it's actually uh, shepherd's chine which is on the south side of the island so we're facing the english channel uh it's a daytime comp as i said it's early in the morning target species is a ras i haven't fished here for probably over a year i never do very well and i always lose lots of gear uh, so I'm hoping that with the experience I've gained over the last year, I should do a little bit better. Uh, I can't wait. I'm buzzing. I've got tons of bait. I have made a bit of a boo-boo this morning. Uh, it's due to be about 24, 25 degrees today. And I forgot my sun cream. So I'm hoping one of the other boys has got some that I can blag. Just put on my beak. Uh, so I'm going to get my gear. Have a little stroll down on the first one here, I think. And, uh, and get set up. And then I'll bring you back when we're down there. Oh, thank you, mate. What you got in there? You, yeah, you have as well. What, see, I told you to find some. Yeah, look, look at that one there. Look at all the shells in that, look. Right, I need to get set up. Bye-bye. Ah, right, well, we, <laughs> we got, I got called out second to last. <laughs> Tom got called out last, so we were the last ones to get, get down and find our our fishing spot. So I'm next to Martin, I've got Martin there, then Ross and Kyle, and the other boys have gone way down there. I ain't interested in walking on the shingle, to be honest. Uh, so let's get set up. Probably only got about 20 minutes. Get set up. I'll go through my uh, rigs, go through the bait, and uh, hopefully we can get into a couple of fish. There we go, so we got five minutes. Five minutes to go, I'm all set up. So uh, let's quickly run through what I'm using today and some of the tactics I'm hopefully going to use to produce a couple of fish. Let's have a look. Right, okay, so uh, I'm using the Vega again, which uh, Carl probably uh, very kindly uh, lent me. Uh, he said I can keep hold of it until I get a decent fish on it. So this is the bright sort of green one. Uh, it's 15 foot, it's got a nice sensitive tip on it, so I'm looking forward to using this one today. Uh, and I've got the my, my uh, Rocket Surf Abu Gus here. Uh, it's a 13 foot too. Uh, both of them are paired up with the Shimano uh, Speed Speed um, Master, I think they're called, 14,000. Great little reel. Um, yeah, I've been I bought those secondhand, and I've been using them ever since I've ever since I got them. Uh, one rod is on 25 pounds straight through. One's on 30 straight through. Uh, so on this side, I'm going to use some old rigs, basically that I had. I'm always using the old ones that I, I had. Uh, this is a little boom rig, two hook boom rig. I've changed the snoods, that's all I've done on it to, to smarten them up a bit. Uh, it's only on a little, on a blue lead, which I think is maybe a four and a half ounce. Um, and on the on the, uh, the hook end, I've got just a little size four, uh, which I've offset, um, and that's got a tiny little bit of like, half a rag, tipped off with a bit of um, crab leg. It's got one pop-up bead, and two normal beads and a sequin. Same deal on the other hook, exactly the same. So they should stand off. I'm hoping that will do the trick. There'll be a nice lot of movement in there. We'll see anyway. Uh, other side, I'm basically using my Bream rig. That's on a five ounce gripper. Uh, exactly the same deal, but on these I've got a size four 
carp hook because uh, they are got short shank on them and they, they look really smart they look like they're going to do the business uh, and that's just tipped off with a bit of uh, prawn um, and also got a couple of beads on there and stuff uh, I wasn't going to put beads on the rigs for the ras, but everything I've looked up says that they they do like a bead so um, there we go so that's quite a longish sort of snood on there probably I don't know 14 16 inches so it should be a bit of movement in the water that one on the Vega I'm going to chuck out at a bit more distance this one with the boom I'm literally going to probably chuck it out 30 yards because if there's rats around they're going to be pretty close in as well uh, so yeah let's get them out in a minute right here we go then let's get this one in nice and close right at the bottom of the tide at the moment we're fishing the tide all the way up so could be a mistake keeping it in close i don't know not gonna bother with the just gonna stick that in the shingle there there we go, one rod in. Ah, buzzing. Right, and this one I'm going to chuck out a little bit further. We'll chuck this one out. Yeah, nice. That felt nice. I've got it didn't go massive, maybe 60, 80, but didn't hoof it, just felt good. There we go, so we're out. I like the tip already on the Vega. Uh, and as soon as it hit the water, I was getting a couple of knots. So There we go, it's going again now. Hopefully it won't be too long. There we go, mate, zero to bag. Beauty. That's a nice fish, mate. Nice first not fish, bad. isn't it? Not bad. One, One six, six and, and a half. half. Take that all day long, wouldn't you? Really? Beauty. Well done, buddy. No, Good don't. bite, was it? Nearly pulled the rod over. Did it? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> nice one, mate. I know, I saw that. There we go. Martin's shoved. He's just had a one pound six uh, ballon. Uh, said it nearly took his rod over as well, so it was a nice bite. Uh, and he hasn't done too well in the last two comps that he's come to, so I'm chuffed for him. First 20 minutes, 20 minutes he's on the board already. So he can relax <laughs> and everyone else can carry on stressing. Uh, yeah, I've changed one rig, totally stripped. I was getting tons and tons of bites, probably from the smaller fish. Uh, I'm going to change one, the other rig now, the one with the boom, because I haven't, uh, haven't really seen that move. But it's not a very sensitive rod, so I might have it the wrong way around. I don't know. Uh, yeah, we'll change that one over now, and uh, we'll have a look to see what happened there. Like I'd say the one with the prawn, tip with prawn, virtually t completely gone, uh, and then the other one is tip with crab legs. So it'd be interesting to see the difference, and it's a lot closer. So now I know this bite's coming a bit further out. And the other one I've got is further out, which is getting bites. Uh, I might chuck that boom rig out just a little bit further. Let's have a look. <laughs> that was a cracking bite from a blooming Blenny. <laughs> Let's get it back in. Yeah, I really thought I was in then. <laughs> the way the rod went, I was, thought it was a ras for sure. But no, go be Blenny, I don't know. Big enough to trip the lead though. But not big enough to weigh in. A couple come out now. I think uh, Carl's had one down at the bottom as well. Looked like a good sized fish. Uh, yeah, we've only been fishing for half an hour, so yeah, signs so far are good. Sun's starting to come round, so it is going to be honest in a minute, but. 
if it's too much, I'll just move up and get under the cliff, but should be fine. Uh, right, so I had hoped <laughs> I'd have had a rasp by now. I've only been fishing for just over an hour. Uh, my plan of attack was to try and get a ras early on and then change up. That's why I got the sand eels and the squid, really, uh, was so I can chuck out some different rigs. Uh, I've got a new rig that I made. So basically, it's a one up, one down, but the, the, the down is on a quite a long snood. And I've got a bait clip halfway up the rig body so I can loop it. So basically, it's like a, an up and over on the bottom and then just a normal snood. Uh, and that's got size ones, maybe one o's, uh, which I wanted to chuck out to see if there's a ray around. Um, but I really want to try and get a ras first because that's the five bonus points. And in theory, it's the easier fish to catch. Like I say, it's been a couple come out, uh, just not next to me or not me. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to keep plugging away the way I'm fishing at the moment. Like I say, I've got two two bits of crab out there at the moment, um, and then uh, that's on a boom with size 2 shanassies and then I've got the other boom rig out with just some uh, rag tipped off with some crab claws but I'm not getting a lot of activity on the crab claw one uh, it seems to be the ones that tipped off with the prawn so I've got another two rigs ready to go see how we get on with those and then think about changing it up if nothing happens but I mean it's stunning down here the sun's now moved around it's on us but it's glorious it's super calm uh, everyone's got a set of feathers with them, so just keeping an eye out for birds. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens anyway. Right, while we're while we're waiting, I'm going to quickly go through what bait I've got because I've gone way, way overboard on the bait, and I know that. But loads of this will come home. Um, so I've picked up some some really nice rag actually from West White Angling Centre, um, so which is my main bait. Uh, I'm tipping some of those off with some prawn. All of this is from West White. Uh, so with some prawn. Um, I've also got uh, some peeler crab, which I stocked up on when he had a few in, probably about three months ago now, two or three months ago. Uh, I've just chucked out uh, one of those cut in half on a, on a flapper. I've got some sand eel, which courtesy of Ross. What else got in there? Got my drink, got a couple of ice packs. Oh, I've got some squid for maybe later and I've also got at the bottom oh, I've got a mackerel uh, that's spider and I've also got a wrap of black lug um, so I know I've got way too much but I'd rather have too much and take it home than somebody else is catching on something and I haven't got it but keeping it all in there nice and cold along with my can of drink which is probably gonna have juice and all sorts around it later but never mind there we go still waiting it's about my luck today double shot Double shot of gobies or blennies. <laughs> well, unfortunately, my other phone, uh, which I ne mainly record the whole footage on, uh, and then I edit it out after, uh, it's overheated. Uh, I don't know how long for, I just wanted to go and check on it, and it's, uh, it's non-existent. So, um, the update is, uh, I'm still pulling out blennies and gobies. I've missed one decent fish. It got me into a snag, which unfortunately uh, I got the rig back out, but I didn't get the fish. So I was a little bit gutted. Um, Martin's doing really well. Carl's doing well. Uh, and Ross is also um, not weighed in either. So two of us down here haven't weighed in. Don't know how the boys are doing down the other end. Uh, but hopefully I've put my camera under there in the shade. Hopefully I'll be able to turn it back on in a bit. Um, so yeah, footage is now to a minimum, even though there was no footage really anyway, because I haven't caught anything, but there we go. What a stunning, stunning little wrasse. Too small, too small to weigh in, but it's absolutely beautiful. The colours on its face 
I, I wish you'd be able to see. It's absolutely stunning. But I'm glad I've hit a target. It's just not big enough. But it's, uh, <laughs> it's a good sign, I guess. Whew. Slow, slow, slow. Uh, yeah, nothing is happening really. I had that little ras. So at least I've had a little ras. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really not happening. I was really surprised. I really wanted to try and get a ras super early and then have a play with some other baits, really, see if there's anything out there. But maybe it's because of the warmth, the heat, who knows. Um, it's a big tide, so there's plenty of movement. I'd like say, and it's gone slow. Everyone, well, I say everyone, quite a few had some you know reasonable size pound and a half nearly two pound wrasse right in the first 20 minutes uh, right at the bottom of the tide and it's gone pretty slow as the tide's pushing up so no idea but anyway i want to show you this rig that i'm going to chuck out another experimental one most of the rigs i'm using today are just super simple um, but this one i had a little play with last night i think i made it or the night before uh, and i really wanted to have a go with it um, so i can have a go i'll show you Right, so, yeah, get on my knees a minute on, a, on here. Right, so basically, that bottom hook, it's a, it's a size one slash one o maybe. Um, has a whole black lug on there, tipped off with a bit of prawn. So that's essentially on an up and over. So that's on like at least two foot of trace, and that's on a on a bait clip there. So that is an up and over. So when that hits down. It's on a splash down there or whatever you want to call it gemini imp that should all come unclipped and then i've got another snood going up i'll move those beads off in a minute and i've got half a crab on that one and that's clipped so it's all clipped in reverse apart from that one obviously uh in the hope that it will keep the uh the bait on the hook rather than sliding up the snood but we'll give it a go can but try i mean I just want to find out if it fishes, to be honest. I'm not expecting to catch anything, so I'm not catching anything or anything else. But we'll chuck it out and see what happens. <laughs> Didn't even know that was on there. Another beautiful coloured wrasse. I hope you can see that. That is amazing. Colours on its face are unbelievable. Uh, he's undersized anyway, so let's get this one back straight away. Man. <laughs> oh, I just missed a really good bite and I felt like it was on as well. It's been like, I don't know, three and a half hours we've been fishing, maybe even four hours now. It's gone so super quiet. And I just had a really good knock on, on that black lug and a crab. I think it took the crab on the top. So it's probably a rasp, but it's the best bite I've had all day. And I missed it, gutted. So, uh, we've got half hour left. <laughs> I've had a few undersized now. Wow, those oh, shingles hot. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna just chuck out uh, these last two rigs, give them half hour soak. Kind of over it now, a bit disappointed to be honest, but I mean, Ross hasn't caught. I've, I've just seen some of the other guys catching down there. So I mean, fish have been coming out. It's one of those, there's always fish coming out. And uh, yeah, just uh, I'm not hitting them, so probably doing something wrong but I don't feel like I am but you can't help but uh, you always question yourself when you're not catching so I'm gonna chuck these two out now anyway and hopefully we can pull one out ah well <laughs> I've already done a sign off uh, but my camera's overheated again I just thought I'd better double check uh, so I don't think it's videoed a lot anyway but I've had <laughs> I didn't weigh in but I had uh, Two undersized wrasse and three blennies, gobies, something like that. Uh, Martin had a pretty decent day. He's had over two pounds of fish. Kyle, uh, he did pretty well as well. I think he's had over two pounds of fish. And Steve, they've just walked past. Steve had a pretty decent account. Um, and four of us, four of us didn't weigh in. So yeah, not very good. Three weighed in, four didn't. 
Uh, so a little bit frustrating. I've just had a dip in the sea just to cool down. Sun's gone in a bit now, it's a bit hazy. So I've packed all my gear up, or most of it. Uh, so I just need to pack up the last few bits and bobs. Uh, yeah, so sorry I couldn't really uh, show you too many fish. It wasn't very entertaining. But that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, but hopefully I'll catch you on the next one. Um, until then, take care, stay safe, and maybe see you out there. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.